not gonna be good. It, if we find something, it's gonna be blow out. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I'm in two on that. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Mold Man episode. It is time. It's that time of year again. It's been a full year since I've gone and done this. This will be three years in a row that I've gone. I'm with Mr. Sandman himself. We're going to meet uh, San, San. We're going to meet Ben Shed Crazy up in Utah. I just flew into Flagstaff, Arizona. We are going on a mountain lion hunt. Y'all know that it's been my dream to kill a mountain lion um, my whole life, but really the journey of the mountain lion has been documented on YouTube and uh, I may try to throw up a few clips of my last few mountain lion hunts. This will be my sixth trip for a mountain lion and I have yet to see one in person. So we got about a four hour drive up to Utah and uh, we're going to get a hotel tonight and start hunting in the morning. So I'll see you guys tonight. Hopefully we run across the track first thing in the morning and uh, can get one of these toms down. Ben's famous mouth call, no read. Let's see the tongue, no read. Ah, uh, yeah, nothing in my hands either. Pretty good. My dog. Let's hear the bugle. <laughs> Snow is on the horizon. And there's definitely snow where we are going, so hopefully that's a good sign. But this guy is really good on dry ground too, so I just hope this snow doesn't turn to slush and then eventually mud. Snow. You st Hi Ben, lead me, guide me, walk on me. Your left, your left of the light. Awesome. It's gonna be good. If we find something, it's gonna be blow out. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Hey, folks. The good news is I don't know where if they've just moved around on top of this stuff. They haven't. They're gonna deny it. Yeah. So, what made you turn a Ford Raptor into a hunting truck? I've tried everything, man. Yeah. Wore them out. So I figured I better give the old Raptor a try. How's it doing? Good so far. But, uh, No, what, what's up? Hello. Talk to me, what's up? All that data, the flying ran across the road to communicate. Just ran across the road? Just gonna go check. Where are you, uh, where are you at? Randy, where are you at right now? Randy. Come on, Randy. Go ahead. What's going on? Um, that Truman guy seen a line run across him, so Dirk's gonna go check it out. 10 4. What's going you on? You copy? Yeah, 10 4, I got you. Wow, I wonder what we should do. What's the scoop? Let's hear it. This guy seen a lot. coming over the top. Really good. Um, Any snow? Yeah. A guy seen a lion run across the highway. How far is that from here? Mm, it take us probably an hour to get there. But one of our trucks is over there, so they're going to go check it out and see. I just hate to leave here if it was a coyote, but the guy that's seen it is uh, very reliable. Okay, okay, bye. Hey, Dirt, which way are they going? East or, okay, onto the, okay. How far, okay, 10-4, I'll be there in 45 minutes. No, I will be puking. By how fast we need to go, I will be puking. Okay, I'll be there in 45 minutes. Okay, bye. Lions? Lions, boys. That's yes, sir! Lions. A male and a female? Yep. That's the 
he's on the tracks? Sitting on the tracks, wait, All right, let's wait, see waiting what, for us to get there. Let's see what this Raptor can do. Good, I can't hey, wait to film it. Hey, do you want to get in the front seat? Yeah, do you want to switch to me? Serious, because yeah, we're going to throw up. Let, dude, just get up. You guys just switch because we're going to be hauled and you will get sick, guaranteed. Yeah, I know. Ciao. I know, dude. I'm lightweight, dude. Switch now. Switch. So I just had to switch the back seat because Ben gets car sick and we are hauling butt. Seeing what this Raptor can do on these back roads, we got a long way to get out of here, but they got two tracks, a uh, Tom and a female, it sounds like. So hopefully this happens. This is the most promising I've ever... Oh, maybe I'm gonna puke now. <laughs> this is the most promising it's been. Oh gosh. Let's get it. All right guys, we made it. Golly, they got off a rock shelf. You ready pups? You ready to do it? You gonna do it for me? Yeah? Yeah? So, let's get a look at these tracks. Puppies. Right there, guys. Would you look at that? All right, guys, we're about to turn some loose. Just a few. They got tracks up there. And uh, make sure these dogs get away from this highway. Yes. Oh, dude, this is real. This is real. This is legit. I'm glad to see you smile. Woo. I'm out of breath already. <sighs> well, we just turned out three of the 30 or so dogs that we got romping around and we're gonna get them started on it and see where they go and then see if we can't cut ahead and freshen it up and let the rest of them go. Kind of hesitating to let out a bunch of dogs this close to the highway because hate for them to come back on the track and end up out in the road. What do you think? I think we might catch them. Might? <laughs> yeah. That, that's probably like a, we're catching them? I think we're gonna catch them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go get the bow. So we got on a little side road. We're gonna try to wrap around, catch that dog. He was a mile already hey! in like 10 minutes. Uh, less than 10 minutes for sure. But try to find a road that'll cut it. What is that, deer? So uh, let's see if we can catch up this bad boy. <laughs> Yeah. I think 15 minutes might be right, bro. <laughs> Is that fresh? Yeah. That's steaming, baby. Steaming. Asked in your truck where they were coming to on that road. Caught right there, right there. Huh? We got, we got one in a tree right there. Come here, Dan. Dan, come here. Catch this other one. You want to see some lines? Yeah, Dan, this is, this is Dan, where it's, that's a sand track. Tree. Dan, yeah, I know that's one of the Dan, that's come a small here. track there. Dan, so come I think here. You might have the big one up here. Come here, Dan. Holy cow! Oh boy, they're treed. 
On the big one or the smaller one? The big one. Yes, That's sir. I, I have my binoculars. My rangy binoculars. Oh, you got it? I got my rangy binoculars. You just need your bag? I just need my bag. <laughs> He's running. Hello guys, the call, it is a female, and, uh, this is my like fifth or sixth trip, never seen a lion, we made it happen, this is a real hunting uh, video, and we can make it happen right now, and the reality of it is I could end this right now, and it'd be over, so we're going to give it some more time, got one more day, two more days possibly, and uh, we're going to try to get on a big calm, so. Got some awesome pictures. This was the most epic thing I've ever done. So cool. First day in Utah, you're already doing the most. First epic day in like the done. first four hours. Y'all well, go check him out. His link will be in the description. Tyler Baller Hunting. He uh, he did it quicker. Hey, he did it. He did it. Nobody else has done it for me, so he did it in the first couple hours. So we'll see if we can uh, get on another track in the morning. Today's pretty much shot. We just had fun hanging out chilling with this cat and uh we're gonna go do some podcasts and stuff so y'all stay tuned Let's go. This is like the most picture. 